Hey, it's Phil coming at you. Thanks for hanging out. Last time we uh, took apart the valve body. This time we're going to put it back uh, together. I know the video is a little bit long this time, but I wanted to try not to edit out too much for you because you can see some things where I, you know, have a little hard time putting it back in and probably you're going to have the same exact hard time if this is your, you know, first time or something like that. And I'll also show you some uh, little tricks and uh, tips that I get through it. We're also installing a shift kit. Um, so I'll show you uh, which springs and, and what I'm doing in, in uh, the shift kit that I'm using, which, uh, you know, you might be using the same one or you might be using a different one, but uh, depending on what you're doing, it's all the same concept. So hang out, uh, watch, and uh, hopefully learn something, and uh, yeah, check it out. All right, so with our valve body, You'll notice I took it inside and I cleaned it up in the uh, ultrasonic uh, washer. So I got it nice and clean. Uh, unfortunately, it also took off the yellow paint, the CZ and all that stuff, but whatever. It's clean. That's the important thing. Uh, in my application, uh, I'm going to be using a shift kit and making some uh, performance modifications to this. So the first thing I wanted to do was take off the uh, crossover pipe here. I'm not going to be using this. Uh, what I'm going to do in my application, I'm going to plug uh, one end. I forget if it was this end or that end and put a cap in the other end, but I'll show you that stage when I get to it. So I'll just go ahead and uh, put that aside. And also this right here, the fourth gear switch right here, uh, 26 millimeter socket fits on there, 12 point, and then just unscrew it. I'm going to replace it later on with a brand new one. So I'll go ahead and take that out, put that aside. Now remember we were looking at this uh, valve body. I labeled it from, uh, what was it? And on the other side, uh, we had the same thing where we started uh, from this point right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and this was, uh, port number seven. So again, uh, we're going to maintain that as well. Now I had taken all my valves and I put them on a tray. Again, very carefully. I just used this because it was uh, convenient and there's little grooves. You can kind of see the uh, little grooves in there. So it's easy just to put my valves. And I did it from A, B, C, D, E, F. And on this side, I did it obviously from one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Now, again, I'm putting a shift kit into mine. So what that means is I'm going to replace uh, some of the springs. Um, in my particular case, uh, I'm using a shift kit from CK uh, Performance. I used them on my Chevelle when I did it before and had uh, awesome results. So again, I decided to uh, do that again. Uh, the first spring that gets replaced is this one right here on number seven. So what I'm going to do, this is number 321. If you have the, uh, uh, what do you call sheets? Uh, there's a book, uh, ATSG, I think, uh, has it. And it's a, a valve body uh, book, but I'm just making some modifications um, to it. It's not a valve body book, but rather it has the valve body listed into it, you know, the valves and the springs, that kind of thing. It's actually a, a service manual, I guess, for the transmission. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is replace uh, spring number 321, which is actually this one in uh, number seven. So I'll take that out and I'm going to replace it with this one. So I'll put... Uh, that one in this way I know exactly where it goes uh, the next thing I'm gonna do in port number a port number a not letter a yeah right is uh, this spring right here is gonna be removed and I'm gonna replace it with this ultra tiny and tightly wrapped one so I'll just put that in there this way I know where that goes and then the next one is in uh, port number B be like boy, uh, this spring actually is going to disappear. And what I'm going to do is replace it with a, a little cup, a one quarter cup. So I'll just uh, slide this back a bit and put our little cup in there. 
this to hold. All right, so now we have everything uh, modified as it should be. Again, we have A through F on this side, and we have 1 through 7 on this side. So now it's just a matter of uh, uh, we'll clean each valve as we go through, and then we'll lube it up with some of our transmission fluid over there, and then we'll put it back into the valve body and cross our fingers that everything works. <laughs> Let's put that over there so we don't lose it. All right. Now we want to uh, flip this over so that we're working on the back. And what do we got? So we have port letter again, A, B, C, D, E, F, right? A, B, C, D, E, F. So we'll start with letter A. All right, so letter A, the first thing that goes in is what? We have our spring and stuff. Uh, I'm going to clean these with simple green. Uh, if you have brake cleaner or carb cleaner even, it's probably better to use that. But in reality, I have a heater. I'm in my garage in uh, New York State in the middle of winter, January. So obviously it's a little chilly here. So my heater has an open flame. And I guess if I blew up the house, the wife would uh, not be so happy. <laughs> so I'm just going to use simple green to uh, clean things as I... Uh, take them off uh, But the first thing we want to do is put our spring and then our valve. So let me clean our valve Spray it down a little get rid of some of the crap that used to be on it Right, so we'll take that in our spring first. Let's see, maybe it's easier just to do it this way. I'll lube it up. Just going to lube it up into uh, transmission fluid. Make sure she slides in there nicely. We don't want any binding. Make sure she moves nice and freely. Oh yeah, no problems on that end. And we'll take our cup. Put it into the port. And then we'll take our A plug. And just run it down. Make sure it's nice and smooth with your finger. All is well. And there's our first valve in. Again, just make sure she moves nice and smooth. We don't want any issues after the fact, of course. All right, one valve done. 53 million more to go. <laughs> Next up, we have our B. Uh, our B, we're going to put that little plug in as well. Just to get that cup to stick on, uh, going to use some transmission assembly lube. This is the stuff I use. They have uh, red, they have uh, green, they have uh, blue. It's basically for different temperatures. Uh, I have this at room temperature, so it's uh, got a decent consistency to it. But if you're using a cold, you want a different consistency, hot, a different consistency. Anyway, I use the the uh, red stuff. If you want, just use Vaseline or petroleum jelly. It's it's pretty much uh, okay. Um, again, that's just what I'm going to use here. Uh, first thing, of course, we want to do is clean off our valve like we have been. So let's do that. Let's take our B valve. Clean. 
clean it off. Make sure there's no crap on there. Looks good. And the next thing we want to do is take some of our trans gel and put it onto the uh, cup plug. Again, this is just a little one quarter inch cup plug. Take some of that trans gel, get it on there good. Valve, get it on there good. Get that baby to stick on there. Obviously this uh, dissolves inside the transmissions and it's intended to be used inside the transmission so it's not going to hurt anything. Hopefully that went without saying but I'll say it anyway. All right, so we have uh, our B going in there. Uh, let's just lube this guy up as well. We don't want to put anything in there uh, dry. That never ends that well. Let's get our B in with the cap. Throw her into the hole. Definitely needs a little... Uh, Persuasion to slide her all the way down. Just keep trying working it back and forth, back and forth. Till it finally gets persuaded. See the cup is hitting at the end. Now we want to put hey, right, there's your cup, there's your valve. Uh, we want to go ahead and put our roll pin. There we go. Make sure she's nice and flush. All right. Now we have our B in. Now next step we have is the C. And what do we got for C? Let's see. We got a valve. And there's no spring for this one. This one, of course, came out of the uh, Monty SS. That's why there's no spring on her. Let's drop her down the hole. C spot. Either in there. All is well. Might as well dunk it in there too. And let's see. Get that cap in the right spot. There we go. Drop our roll pin in there. Give it a tap so it's nice and flush. Now our C is installed. Now we'll go ahead and do our uh, D. D, the very first thing is a spring. A little queen. A little dunk. Jammer down the hole. Then what do we got? We got our valve. Here's our D valve. Go ahead and looking good. Give her a dunk. Get it into the valve. Remember, we had the spring there, right? So you just want to give it a little push. Make sure it goes up and down, no problem. Don't let it go flying across the room, of course. That would be a bad day. Been there. Next, we have our uh, cap. There we go. 
Give it a little dunk. Our cap goes right in there. And then, of course, our pin going right in there. Gonna need your uh, pick. I'm just gonna push in on the valve uh, cap. You can see, right, because there's a spring all the way at the end, remember? Right here, this blue one. So we wanna get that valve cap over so that we can push our pin all the way in. So let's go ahead and push that down. There we go. Again, just tapping with the uh, rubber mallet here, plastic mallet, whatever you want to call it. And this one, of course, the pin goes all the way through, right? So you want to make sure that it's not only going in here, but also coming out the other end, right? It's perfectly flat in there. Okay. And there's our letter D. Next up, we have our letter E. And this one is uh, valve spring and then pin. So let's see what we got here. We got our valve. Okay. So let's uh, dunk our valve, our letter E. Yeah, it's going all the way to the end. Then we have our spring. Now remember, this one has a spring at the end. Right, go into the roll pin. The roll pin is at the very end. Remember, be careful. This thing's going to shoot out like a rocket if you don't get that uh, uh, spring to hold in there. If you let go, it's just going to go pew, pew, shoot across the room. Uh, yeah, don't ask me how I know that. It's very obvious how I know that. Been there, done it. One of those deals. Uh, let's find where this goes. Let's try bigger punch Let's see if we can get her down there there we go see Give her a little tap. All is good there. And lastly, we have our letter F. Letter F has two uh, cycles to it. So we have one piece that fits all the way down. And that one gets what? That gets a pin here. And then we have another one after it that gets a pin up here. All right, so first we'll put the long piece in that gets the pin all the way at the bottom. And that, of course, is this one. And we have this little crappy spring followed up by this uh, valve, and they're both pretty dirty. Try and fasten it all the way on the end. I don't know how good that's going to do. Obviously not too good. It fell right off. Here's our spring right there. See if we can get it. Uh... Down a little bit more. Here we go. Okay, next up we have our valve. Lube her up. 
send her down. See how far we get. There we go. Seems to be moving pretty good. There it is right down there. You can see a nice smooth movement. Let's get our pin. And of course, push her back down. nice and smooth next up we have the remainder of our letter F which is what a spring long spring and there should be the valve and of course our bushing so as you can see, there's uh, a lot of, shall we say, gunk in there. Let's go ahead and clean that. Now we have our bushing. Pin's going to go here, right? So we want this side out. Let's dunk it again for safekeeping. Never have too much dunks. Take our valve. Dunk that guy as well. Hey, put her in there. Make sure she slides nice. Oh yeah. Beauty, eh? Take our spring. Again, everything slides nice. Clean off the old hands here. All right, let's see what we got here. Get it to go in nice and smooth. Now remember that bushing, right? We need this slot right here. See this slot needs to go all the way in because we're gonna take this uh, roll pin and we're gonna drive it through Right, the roll pin's going to go from where? It's going to go from right up here. Right, so we want to get our slot. See our slot there? Roll pin's going here. Here's our slot for the bushing. So we want that slot to be underneath. Right about there. Get our roll pin. Right around there. Okay. Just make sure we got a nice even flow. And we do. Have our pin uh, pushed down also. Take a look there. All right, so our pin is pushed down. And uh, nice movement. Nothing seems like it's caught up. You can see our full movement down below. Okay, so this side is finished. Let's move on to the other side here. Now this right here is our number one. 
which of course is our manual valve. Let's flip it over here. Right, so our manual valve goes into here. This is our manual valve. Right, pair up. Definitely don't want it going through dry. I feel like I'm putting a camshaft in. Get a little pair right there. Just trying to get a lot of lube down there. Don't want any issues. There we go. Got nice movement. Okay, so our manual valve has been installed. And let's move on to number two. So number two has got a bunch of valves. What do we got? We got two valves. So one valve. Two valves. A spring. And then uh, our bushing. Use our bushing. All right, so the first thing in is going to be our large valve. Drop her down there. Let's get our long. Give it a hand. There we go. It's a long way down. Just make sure it moves nice. Right, so I have some good movement. Let's uh, get some lube down there. Hey, okay, next we have our valve and our spring. Go ahead and lube everything up. Spring goes on top of the valve, and then everything goes on top of the bushing, or inside of the bushing, I guess. Uh, again, soak the bushing. Always a good habit. This way nothing goes in dry. Make sure you got good action. Just going to hit it with a little more lube. Right, we got good movement all as well. Now again, your pin is gonna go right here. So we wanna make sure that our lineup, our pin's gonna be on the other side. So let's just, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the pin's right here. Woo! My manual valve moved out of the way there. 
So here's your slot right there, and here's where the pin's gonna go. So let's just move it in there. All right, make sure you have good movement, which we obviously do. Go ahead and get your pin. All right, we have our pin. Line it up in the hole. Give it a little tappy tap once you get it there. Again, make sure you got movement. Both ends. All right, we have movement on this end. We seem to be good. All right, so our number two is in. Now, again, since we have the high performance valve body, when we do number three, all we have is a plug. Realistically, it doesn't have to move anywhere. It just has to sit there and take up space for us. Soak it. And of course, uh, here's our slot. Here's our roll pin spot. Just go ahead, find how she goes in there. Let's grab our roll pin. Now we move on to number four. Number four is a long train. All the way down there, but let's see what we got. We have a valve. We have a bushing. Let's leave this guy up. She's going way down. One more hole to get to there. Let's give it a little lube. There we go. Got her all the way down to the end. That's a long lineup. Next up, we have our bushing. This one goes all the way down. And again, we got this guy right here that we have to line up with. Go ahead and line that guy up. The valve inside. And this is going to be fun lining this with this. 
So if we keep our slots on the top, we should be okay. That's the theory. Let's see the reality. All right, looks good so far. Let's see if we can get our pin all the way in there. There she goes. Next up, we have our valve, our spring, and our bushing. So first up, we'll take our valve, lube her up, our spring, lube her up, put her on there, and of course our bushing. Move her up, get our spring in there, and our valve. Again, make sure the valve moves nice. Once you're satisfied, everything's moving good, we'll want to go ahead and install it into the hole. Goes right down into here. It's going to go way down, right? Because you got your slit here and you got your uh, hole for it right there. So, again, lube it up really good. Lube up the path really nice. Find where the slot is, hole is here, slot is there. All right, we got good movement. Okay, let's grab our pin. Here we go. In the slot. Give it a little tap. Alright, so we're in. Make sure your valve moves nice. You got good spring pressure on there. Alright, snaps back nice. Just put a little lube on the train. Why? Why not? Okay, so our number four is in. Let's move on to our number five. Number five should already have the roll pin in there because we didn't take it out. There it is, right? That just stops us at the end, the roll pin. And what else do we got? We got a spring that's going to sit against that and then a valve. Move up our spring, move up our valve, it's just going down into there, Let's move up the path a little.
Okay, next up we have our cap followed by the big roll pin. Let's leave it up anyway. Now this one also has to go inside, right? The roll pin's going right here and the cap is right there. So obviously got to give it a little pressure, but be careful. Don't let it go shooting across the room. Yeah, I know. I said it a hundred times. Don't do what I do or did. Hey, okay, let's put our roll pin in. Give it a couple love taps. Okay, now we're mostly in. Let's go ahead and drive her home. Make sure she still moves. Oh yeah, nice spring action, everything very loose. It's a good thing. Move on to uh, number six. number six. We have two valves followed by a spring in the bushing. Let's get our valve. Get her launched in there. Notice there's a little hole at the bottom. There it is. It's all the way in. I think we have it coming through there. We are good. Next, let's rebuild our bushing assembly here. Pushing full of oil. Let's get our spring in there. All the way down. Let's lube up the valve. Get it inside the spring. Make sure we got good movement. Oh yeah, there we go. And the hole is right here, so we want to line up our roll pin hole with that. there we got one more path there we go there we go Here you got good movement. Yep, everybody's moving good. Life is good. And then we have our last one, number seven. That's going to be a bushing, a spring, and a valve. Go ahead and coat the inside of the bushing. Next, we got our bushing all nice. Put our valve in there, 
coat the valve, of course. And our spring. Make sure you got nice movement. And we do. Let's get our last bit in here. And number seven. Move it up, all good. And this one, of course, we have our valve. And then we have the spring that goes in first. Here's our roll pin. So we want to make sure that our roll pin goes through. Oh, we have a cap on this one. Remember, and your spring, of course, it's got to go in there. Your valve compresses nicely. The valve cap with the slot. Then your valve. Right, that's what your spring is going to push on. Let's give it a little tilt. This way that our spring stays in there. And then work it up gradually. So you get it on there. And check down your hole. It's good spring compression. Good movement. Now remember your roll pin goes in there. Here's your roll pin. Driver down. Make sure you got good valve action. Right, everything's moving pretty good. That should be the end our valve body. One other thing I wanted to show you. Remember uh, I told you I took off the rear signal oil pipe? Anyway, uh, when I took it off, uh, my shift kit calls for blocking the, uh, what do you call it? the uh, the plug back here. So the pipe passage right here. The front one actually is supposed to be left open as a vent. So what I have is uh, I have a little cap plug right there. I'm just going to lube up the hole a little bit. Then what I'm going to do is drive the cap plug into there. Uh, just use a little punch. And again, this is what's called out in my shift kit. It might not be the same for your shift kit, so I don't know to tell you to do that. So again, unless the uh, shift kit maker tells you to do it. Don't do it. Tap it in there. So let's get it a little bit more than that. Let's get it a little bit more. We want it to be nice and flush. There we go. So now our rear signal oil pipe is plugged up. 